a shocking video when the world's scariest ghosts continues. Some of the most mysterious orbs ever witnessed are here in Colorado's Black Forest. My house is different from other houses because um, mine's kind of haunted. The man who captured them on videotape is this boy's father, Steve Lee. I've never been exposed to anything like this, paranormal or otherwise, so, you know, we really did not, we didn't have a clue as to what was going on. Steve's journey into the supernatural begins innocently enough. In 1992, he and his family moved into what they thought was their dream house. But soon after, their dream took a frightening turn. We uh, went on the hunting trip for like 10 days up in the mountains with the whole family. And when we got back, that's when things really started to happen. We immediately noticed that the furniture was not in the same spot. We was hearing voices, shadowy figures that you're not really sure if you're seeing or not. The boys were were really terrified because of the fact they didn't know who it was, and I didn't know who it was. Determined to prove that these events were man-made, Steve installed high-tech security cameras around his property. But the images they captured were unlike anything he'd seen. Small orbs are videotaped floating through different parts of the house. I don't have a clue and still don't have a clue as to what it is. Then outside, Steve tapes larger orbs that are even harder to explain. Notice how they fly around the trees and even change direction. Steve believes that these orbs are not created by flashlights or any known camera trick. But the most amazing discovery is yet to come. One night while Steve and his family are sleeping, a camera is left running. This is what it records. The most incredible orb ever caught on tape. Its astonishing size, brightness, and detail seem to defy scientific explanation. Dr. Michael Kutz consults with police on occult activities. He visits Steve's home and agrees with him. It holds some disturbing mysteries. When I'm out here at night, I feel almost as if I'm being watched, that there are other people or energy, if you will, around me. It's a sensation of awareness and of power of energy. After witnessing these eerie events, does Steve and his family ever think about leaving the Black Forest? We decided long ago that we would not, not let anything chase us from here or run us from our house, whether it be man-made or otherwise. So Steve continues to videotape the ghostly glows that surround his house in the hopes that one day he'll discover who or what might be visiting from the spirit world.